a nice five nine from us. I don't know, can he give you more than that? This is great. They're coming in very well. This is KS or OKS in Johnson County, Kansas. Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Just listening in on a little bit of HF activity going on as I'm recording this segment, which is part two on the memory functions of the IC7100. And as always, we've got quite a bit to cover, so we're going to jump right into it. Let's get going. Let's continue on with the memory functions in the 7100. This time we're going to take a look at programming them, and we're going to program some HF frequencies into the memory. If you want to see how to program a 2-meter repeater frequency into memory, you can take a look at video number 2 in this series, and there'll be a link to that in the description, where we just did a single repeater frequency, and you can see some of the things you need to do for making sure you set your tone frequency and so forth. This time we're going to concentrate on HF, but the programming functions and the naming functions are pretty much the same. It's just the other settings you need to be able to do. So the memories can be programmed either from VFO mode or from memory mode, and they talk about this in the manual. The programming is essentially the same. I'm going to switch to a blank memory here, so bank B, memory 3 is blank. And if I go into memory mode, it shows nothing on the screen. So if you want to program the memory from this mode, you just touch on the frequency part of the display and you get the band menu that you would get if you were in VFO mode. And we'll pick a band here, I'm going to just stay on 20 meters, and then it shows you everything that you have as if you were in VFO mode. So I can set my frequency. Let's just say we had a net on 14250 that we wanted to program. And let's say I want the filter to be filter 1. And that's really all I'm going to program for this one. So I can, and actually we'll uh, turn up the squelt so you can hear the the beeps here as well. So to program it, you're just going to hit and press and hold memory right for one second. And we've now programmed that into memory three. So if I change to the other frequencies, or excuse me, the other channels, when I go back to three, there's our frequency. Now, let's say, and we'll go up one more, we'll program the next one into memory four here. If you want to run split mode, um, in uh, to do split mode, you're going to turn on split mode. So I'm in menu one here on the menu button choices. And menu one has the split function. So I'm going to hit split, which puts the BVFO into my transmit frequency. And we can use the AB key here to switch between VFO A and B. And if you're in split mode, it basically swaps the two frequencies. So whatever your current VFO is when you're not transmitting will be your receive frequency. And then the other VFO is going to be your transmit frequency. So um, let's say that just for grins, I had a an odd net where, <clears throat> not sure how you do this for a net actually, but... Um, no, oh, I'm sorry. Let me leave that at 250. So we'll say our receive frequency is 250 for whatever this is that I want to program. And my uh, transmit frequency, I'm going to switch to the BVFO, is, uh, I don't know, let's call it 220. So... I want to put a memory in here where I'm going to receive on 250 and transmit on 220. Now, right at the moment, 220 is my receive frequency, so I'm going to switch VFOs and go back. So again, the, the top frequency here is your receive. The bottom frequency is showing my transmit. I could have changed the mode also, but I want to stay on the same mode. And then to program that in the memory, again, you just press and hold memory write. That's pretty much how you do all of these. 
And then if I go into memory mode, now my split function is shown. So it remembered my split and it also reloaded the, the transmit frequency. So when I'm in this memory mode, it effectively is loading both VFOs for me, my receive and my transmit frequency. And actually, while you're in memory mode, you can hit AB and it'll switch your transmit and receive frequencies for you. And that's pretty much it for programming any of the memories. And in fact, we'll go down. We talked briefly about these and we didn't go into it very much. There are the two, sorry, the three pairs of memories, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3A, and 3B. And these are for doing program scans. And if you want to program these memories, it's the same thing. Let's say I wanted to, um, let's say I wanted to scan the entire general portion of the 20 meter band. So the general portion of, uh, sorry, the general portion for voice. So the general portion of 20 meters starts at 225, at least in the U.S., where general has some meaning. I'm going to get back out of split mode here for the moment, although it actually doesn't matter for this memory. So I've got my memory set to 1A. So I am going to program the bottom end in A. And then the upper end of the 20 meter voice portion of the band is 14350. So we'll go up here to 14350, and I'm going to go to memory 1B, and I'm going to program 14350 into that part of it. So now if I go into memory mode, we can see that my scan edge at the 1A is 225, and my scan edge for 1B is 350. So this, if I use program scan number one, and we'll talk about scanning in another episode, but this would set it so that the, the radio would scan from 14225 to 14350. Now, I also want to talk about programming names. And again, I did program a name into the one channel in... Uh, video number two, and you can check that out on the link. But let's look at a little more in-depth in memory lists and memory names now. So the, you've seen a couple examples of programming. Programming is the same for all of them. You press and hold memory right, and it will program into whatever memory you're on. So if I want to see what's in the memories so that I can put names in or maybe want to get a better way of showing them, we can go to menu three and we get the memo button here. And if I press the memo button, it actually brings up a sub menu, which we have list select memory write M dash CL, which is memory clear. And I can still switch between VFO and memory on this sub menu. Also, this is just another place where you can switch back and forth. So if I press list, this will now show me the list of memories. And so it, below the scan edge, you get back to 99, which is your regular memories. If I continue up, you'll see the, th the three pairs of scan memories. And then if I continue on up, you'll see the call channels. And you'll also see if I keep going, I get back to memory one. So now I can scroll through my 99 memories. And this is showing me the memories in bank B right now. And if you want to change the banks you're looking at, you can rotate the bank knob here while you're in this list mode, and then it will take you to the memories in the other banks. And then as we had talked about in the previous video, the scan edge and the call channel memories, those basically are visible in any one of the banks because there is no bank for those. So no matter what bank you're in, you'll see the same call channel and scan edge memories. 
So let's look at naming memories. And since we just programmed a couple of scan edges, let's uh, program a name for those. And this will be the same for any of the memories if you want to program a name. So here's my memory. And if I want to program a name for it, I can touch and hold it. And then it comes up with the option to edit the name. So if I hit edit name, it's scan edge right now. And then I can um, press the clear button here repeatedly to empty it out. And so let's say we're going to call this scan edge uh, 20 M T and I'm going to hit this one three times because I want the R 20 meter and we're going to say P H O whoops I got to move it over N E so 20 meter phone and I'm going to hit enter and that's now saved that so let's go down to the next scan edge and we'll call this one the same thing since this is the upper end so press and hold edit name we'll clear all of these out and we'll say 20 M T R you notice if I go to a different block of letters it automatically advances but if you stay within the same block you have to advance on your own so P H O and then I go to the next character N E and enter so now my scanage is 20 meter phone for both the lower and the upper. I suppose I could have said 20 meter phone LWR or something, but I think this is close enough for what we're trying to do here. And then again, for the regular memories, when we get down to those, you can, none of these have names in them because you can see it's all blank underneath them. So if editing the name for the regular memories, oh, so that was one other thing to illustrate, just uh, that uh, I did by accident there. When you are in the list mode, um, you can get to a memory that you want to go to, as we had shown before, by just rotating the memory knob when you're in memory mode. But you can also be in list mode, and if you scroll to a particular memory that you want to switch to, if you just tap it briefly... It puts you into memory mode and puts you on that memory. So that's one other item that you can do, or another way you can access the memory. So you can scroll through here, or you can scroll in the list and then tap it, and it'll take you to it. Now, one other useful thing you can do with the memory is, let's say I've got this split frequency. Um, let's do the, the other one that we just did here. So we've got our... Uh, 250 split. Um, oh, I'm in the... I was wondering why it wasn't showing me... This is showing me the memory here because I'm in the memory submenu. So let's press our menu button and get back to menu 1. So I'm in my split memory here in menu... Sorry, memory 4. So my receive frequency is here, my transmit frequency is here. Let's get out of memory mode, and we'll even go to a different band. So now in VFOA, I've got something on 40 meters. In VFOB, I've got something entirely different. Let's, just for example, we'll go to 80 meters. So in VFOA, I'm on 40 meters. In VFOB, I'm on 80 meters. And then we're going to go back to memory mode. And this is our split frequency. If I want to put these into the VFOs, because maybe I'm going to program another new memory that's similar in frequency to this or close to this, or I just want to operate in VFO mode, you've got the 
VM button that switches you back and forth between memory and VFO mode, if you press and hold that for one second and you get the double beep, it takes whatever is in the current memory you're in and loads it into the VFOs for you. So to copy the memory into the VFOs, you just press and hold the um, the memory VM switch button. Now there is a slight um, difference in behavior here depending on whether you're in VFO mode at the time you do this or if you're in memory mode. You can do it from either place. So you notice I was in memory mode and I press and held that and it loaded both VFO A and VFO B with my split and it put me into split mode. So let's remember again, memory B4 here, bank B, memory number four, is my split mode channel on 20 meters. So I'm going to go back to VFO mode, and let's go to VFO A, and then once again, just to get us in a different place, for example, I'm going to put a 40 meter frequency in VFO A, and then I'm going to put um, an 80 meter frequency in VFO B again, and I'm going to take us out of split mode. So let me go to VFO A. If I'm in VFO mode, and I say, oh, I want my frequency. I know I had a frequency in memory B4 that I want, and I want it in, VF, in VFO A. If I press and hold the VM button in this case while I'm in VFO mode, I'm on VFO A. It copied my frequency from the VFO A side of the memory into VFO A but it did not put me in split mode and it didn't touch my BVFO. So the behavior on this is a little different. If you're in memory mode when you do the copy and you have a split frequency programmed, it will copy the split information and both frequencies into both VFOs. If you're just in VFO mode, it's only going to copy into your current VFO. And then one other interesting behavior about this is let's go to a memory that doesn't have a split mode frequency. So memory one in bank B is just a 40 meter frequency. Let me go back to VFO B here. So if I'm in VFO mode and if I'm on VFO B and I press and hold this, it will load the memory into whichever VFO I'm in. So the memory frequencies don't remember that it came from VFO A or VFO B. So maybe that was a little confusing, but hopefully that shows you some of the different things you can do. And I'm going to suggest that if you really want to understand it, the best way to do it is to just try playing around. Program some frequencies, go back and forth between VFO mode, and you'll get comfortable with how all that works. That's all we're going to cover for this time. Well, once again, this has gone a little bit long, but it just takes time to walk through each of these features. Next time, we should finish up the basics of using the memories, and then we might take a sneak peek at a way to make managing all of these memories much easier. You can find the companion website for the channel at a to z.tech. You'll find a link for that in the description. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate a click on that like button. And if you're finding the channel useful, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. You can also click on the little bell icon, and you'll get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.